We are at Full City Coffee Roasters, trying to find the best working coffee shops in Palermo, in Buenos Aires. We're gonna rate it on workability, time you can spend, food, drink, and ambiance. So we will be testing it out. It looks so pretty, I don't wanna ruin it. Coffee's really good. It's out of flat white. Um, Screws my personality. Right. I'm excited for the. I'm excited for the. Food. We haven't eaten all day. <laughs> it does look good. I'm excited. I haven't had a rape in a while. Try to remember you on camera. <laughs> I think the food's pretty good. No. I wish everything was hotter. It feels super hot. But it tastes good. And the ingredients are fresh. I feel like it's good value for what you get. My food's pretty good too. It's like decent sized portions. And it's like what? Mine was 800 pesos, yours was 600. So not too bad. And it's mostly breakfast food though. But there's other options like pastries and stuff, which we do want to try. So. Pretty good overall. We also have cinnamon rolls here, which I'm going to give the chair to get a little bit. Oh, we're working and we got a cinnamon roll. It looked so pretty before I got my hands on it. It's not like cinnamon rolls you find in the U.S. But it's got Nutella, cream cheese frosting, and it's not dry, so it's um, it's quite good. Official ratings of Full City Coffee Roasters. Out of five. Workability. I'd say like a four. There's a lot of seating areas. Um, there's more outdoor seating today. It's been a little rainy. The only thing I'll say is there's not a lot of outlets available, but the mm. Wi-Fi is pretty good. Wi-Fi was good, and there were other people working, which is always nice, because like you don't feel like the only one who's like taking up space, you know? Yeah. Um, amount of time you could spend there. I don't. I feel like maybe a three. Like I feel like we felt kind of rushed out of there just because it got pretty crowded and. Yeah. I don't know. Again, that could have been because it's a rainy day, but there's a lot of space here, and we saw one or two other people hanging out for a couple hours. We hung out for like three hours. Yeah. So, three hours. Yeah. And then food and drink. It's like a three. Also a three. It was all fine, but it was kind of like cold. Like the food and the drink just weren't hot enough. And I don't know what happened there. Yeah, it's not super expensive. Um, not super cheap either. But all around pretty decent. Yeah, but it was good. Like I would go back and work there again and, and eat there again. Yeah, and the ambiance. Yeah. Uh, like four? Four, yeah. It has, I mean, it's cool. Cool lighting atmosphere there's a lot again like when outside seating is available in the summer it's winter right now um there's a lot of different tables and bigger tables for like bigger groups of people and little nooks that you can like sit down and like work for a couple hours so um yeah it's a cool little shop so we would go back but we probably not the best one in palermo so we're at surrey hills coffee which is a cute little coffee shop right in the middle of Palermo so the food here is actually really good we've been here before the coffee's pretty good as well the only thing is that there's not a ton of seating here and well the seats are these like they're like stadium chairs <laughs> which you kind of sink into but it's a cool spot Cut into her. I want to see a jiggle jiggle. <laughs> I like to see a wiggle wiggle. You know. So we just totally worked hard at Surrey Hill Coffee. Look at that. Um, One of us did. Yeah. We really like this place. It's actually really great food. Uh, really good food. Good coffee. Coffee's still cold. We don't know if that's an Argentine thing or we're just ordering wrong. I don't know. Ratings for a Surrey Hill. Workability. Uh, four. Three. 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 There's a lot. There's not a lot of tables, um, but the tables that they have are really nice. There's a lot of outlets, 
and yeah, the seats are weird seats are like stadium seats, so you kind of like sunk, sink into them kind of low. But other than that, the Wi Fi is good, it. yeah, it's a good spot. How long you can stay there? Um, like two, three hours. I feel like you can't stay there all day, yeah, it's just too small. You got to be like thoughtful of the other people who want to come enjoy the delicious food, which brings us to food and drink. Five. Five. So good. Food's one of the, really good. One of the best food spots. Good toast, good egg sandwiches, good coffee. Really. Yeah. Atmosphere. Yeah. Or ambiance. 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 I love the vibes in there. I think it's a really cute little spot. I would probably say four. Yeah, I give it a four. Yeah, this is a great spot if you're, you know, during the middle of the day when it's a little less busy. Definitely not on the weekends. It gets pretty busy here. Yeah, we tried to come on last weekend and we couldn't get a table, so. Twice. It's a great weekday spot. We circled around, couldn't find anything. <laughs> So we forgot to film our reaction to B Blue Coffee Blue. Cafe Natural Bar. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go through it. Um, workability. It was pretty empty when we were in there. There was lots of space and good Wi-Fi. Not a ton of outlets though. Mm, I didn't know. Um, yeah, maybe like a four. Yeah, yeah. It was a good spot. Yeah. Ambiance. Like a, like a four? Yeah. It was cute. Maybe, maybe. Nothing special. Yeah, it was pretty basic. It was nice. The food and drinks? Fours? Threes? Three. Yeah. There weren't anything to write home about. The tea, we got a green tea that was very good. Yeah. The beverages carried the food and drink score. <laughs> that they did. Yeah, the sandwiches were just bland. How long you can stay there? Maybe like two hours. I think we went on a quiet day. We saw one other person working there, but it seems mostly like a lunch space. Yeah. So maybe two hours, three hours yeah. tops. We weren't even sure when we first got there if we could go in and work, like we had to go ask. So it didn't exactly scream, work here all day, but it was a good spot. It was quiet and pretty chill. Yeah, three to four-ish. For sure. We're at Rebellion today, and we actually didn't know if we could work here, but they said we could, and they have a really cool outdoor, outdoor seating area upstairs. It's kind of like half in, half out. They have a very extensive food and drink menu because it's also just like a restaurant. And Dan got this like, flower drink, so that's fancy. And we got the food we're excited to try, but so far, been vibing with these Italian sandwiches lately. Hey, I think we found the sweet spot for sandwiches in Argentina. <laughs> Good focaccia bread, sun-dried tomatoes, fresh mozzarella. I'm a happy camper. So we just got done working at Rebellion Coffee for the day and I thought it was a pretty good experience. Yeah, I'm pleased with it. Good Wi-Fi, really good food, good drinks. And they have electrical outlets in some places, so it's pretty good workability. Workability out of five, I'd give it like a five. Yeah. There's, yeah. A, there's yeah. a lot of different spaces. It, it's winter right now, but there's a lot of people seated outdoors. Big indoor space, big upstairs, some nooks and crannies to enjoy. Um, so five for that. Uh, how long did you sit there? We were there for a couple hours. At yeah. Least. I think we could have stayed longer, so. And we're Four? yeah we're here on a Sunday too, which is really busy. So if you're coming here on a weekday, you could probably stay longer as well. Yes. Um, food. I love the food. Yeah, 
This is our second time here too, and we got really good coffee drinks both times, really good food, a lot of different options. Um, and yeah, five and ambiance. I like the ambiance. I think it's very cute. It's like dried flowers and plants and stuff everywhere, and it's just kind of like a boat. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's chic, it's hip, it's trendy. Are we going five across the board for this one? Yeah, I think overall five. Yeah, five, 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 five. We're at Hacienda Coffee in Palermo, and we're currently procrastinating on doing our work. Um, but the vibe is awesome in here. There's tons of seating. There's like a little office space you can rent upstairs. The drinks, they have a, a lot of specialty drinks like a lavender latte and honey cinnamon latte, which we've tried both of them. Um, most places don't have drinks like that. So that was fun. Looks like they have a ton of baked goods. We tried some food, but they have a pretty extensive menu. So far, so good. And it's a huge space. I think there will always be space to come work at Hacienda. Hola chicos. Hola chicos. Como va? We just got finished working at Hacienda Coffee. Really good. Really cool vibes. A lot of different working spaces. There's an office. There's a living room. There's a lot of chairs. There's outdoor seating, indoor seating, outlets, the whole Lots nine. Lots of outlets, good Wi-Fi. Yeah, really good Wi-Fi. Um, workability. Five. 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 Yeah. Five. Five. They have an office that you can rent. It's a little bit expensive, but um, really great for office things. All right. How long we can work there? Probably all day. Definitely. I mean, yeah. It was pretty empty today. There were lots of tables, so I think even if it was pretty busy, you could get a spot. Yeah. And then the ambiance. Really good. Four, five, four and a half. Yeah. yeah. Cool art on the walls. Yeah, there's a lot of different spaces, like we said before. Um, yeah, it's, it's got a good aesthetic. Very trendy. Yeah, and the lattes have pictures on them, you know? Yeah, if good you're latte trying to art. Put Instagram in while you're working, you know, this is the place to go. Mm -hmm. Um. I think we did everything here. Yeah? So which ones do you think we'll go back to? to work? Hacienda and Rebellion. Probably. Yeah. I Our agree. two favorites. If you want to stalk us, you know where to find us. <laughs>